You want to put your foot next to it? This is a very small one. Of course, your foot's opposite of what it is. Let's see, right, yeah, right there. Another very small one. Now, I don't think people would let their kids run around in the forest here barefooted. And we're quite a ways in. Okay, I just wanted to show that we're up here on the very top of the Mogollon Rim. And that's the drop off right there. We wanted to come up on top of the rim and we did so and we found these footprints. Now this drop off below, we're right directly above where the fish hatchery was that got broken into. Uh, the fence got torn down and, and stuff and all the fish were taken. Uh, we still don't know the true story behind that, whether it was a human or a bear or Bigfoot. But, uh, you know, it squashed the fence. So that's kind of interesting. We had to take some time out to take a look at the uh, leaves that are turning colors. They're just absolutely beautiful. I thought it was kind of appropriate uh, looking at these leaves because they kind of reminded me of bloody trees. Um, however, it's just leaves that have turned colors that are attached to the trees. Probably or definitely man-made. I'm almost betting that one's man-made. But it's something to look at. After a little research, we figured out what these uh, square structures were. They're uh, pens for sheep herders. The sheep herders used to pasture their sheep up here during the the uh, summer and, and then herd them down to the valley uh, during the winter. Well, that one's probably or definitely man-made. I'm almost betting that one's man-made but it's something to look at. Now what I'm trying to do here is, is ready the uh, parabolic sound collector and the amplifier by putting a fresh new battery in it and turning it on and getting it ready for the evening. Okay, everything should be good to go and I'm closing up shop, getting ready to turn on the uh, listeners and the... Uh, the recorders and so forth so we can uh, sit back and listen to the night sounds. 
Oops, I accidentally pulled the uh, cord out, so now i got to go put it back in and get it working again. Well, that was a nice quiet night. Not much of anything happened. Uh, the campground is still pretty quiet and uh, nobody has really bothered us or made that much noise. So it was a good night's sleep.